On Teen Mom 2 Season 9 Episode 3 Monday Night, Kaylin Lowry decided to come clean about the big secret she had been keeping. Not that viewers were particularly shocked. Meanwhile on the MTV hit, Brianna De Jesus considered adoption after her breakup with Louise, but not everyone in her life was on board. If you watch Teen Mom 2 online, you know that De Jesus was added to the cast to add some drama, and suffice it to say, she's done it. In the aftermath of her breakup with her would-be baby daddy, Bray called an adoption agency to get some information about the process. Obviously, she didn't go through with it. Knowing that De Jesus is happily raising little Stella at this point renders some of the drama of Teen Mom 2 Season 9 Episode 3 moot. Still. It's interesting to see how she arrived at that point, and how when Luis texted her that he misses her, Brianna's sister told him. Get some lotion and use your hand, ick. Last night belonged to Kaylin, though. After she revealed that she'd finally start talking about her pregnancy on camera, which she had tried to avoid, not everyone was happy. Joe Rivera, her original baby daddy, and his fiancé, Vitores were particularly dismayed, not that she's going public, but in general. V said what we're all thinking, Kaylin makes unfortunate life decisions, like getting pregnant for the third time by a third different guys. And, unlike Janelle Evans, that third different guy, Chris Lopez, has no interest in sticking around, and the baby's not even here yet. She should have just been with herself for a while. Like I just don't understand why. It's not just her life. Like she's affecting everyone. Probably good Kaylin wasn't there for that. Later, Joe and Kaylin's son Isaac started crying at dinner with Kaylin, Joe, and Lincoln, since he wants mum and dad to live together again. Sad as that is, seeing Lincoln comforting Isaac was sweet, Javi Maroquin, Isaac's dad, is a good father, as is Joe, who's come a long way. Here's hoping both of them will continue to be, and that they're growing. Modern Family will offer Kaylin some kind of support going forward. We know Chris Lopez won't be. Speaking of difficult family situations, Janelle and Barbara Evans have been at each other's throats, with David isn't trying to intervene. Of course, David isn't a top-notch mediator, yelling curse words and bad-mouthing Barbara like it's his job every time he heard a phone call. When Janelle called Barbara to arrange dropping Jace off, he caused even more drama, because Barbara sided with him, interestingly. Will this get worse before it gets better? In South Dakota, Chelsea struggled with Aubrey's behavior, as the little girl is clearly thrown off by the presence of baby brother Watson. Chelsea asked Aubrey why her behavior changed after Watson was born, and Aubrey admitted she gets jealous on multiple levels. The baby smiles at Cole, but never her, and mom and dad stay up late with the baby while she has to go to bed. Kind of understandable. Leah Messer also had to deal with some upset children this week, as Adi wept over not spending enough time with her dad, Jeremy. Her second ex-husband Jeremy Calvert has always worked a lot, and often far away from home, to make a living as a pipeline engineer. Life in a divorced household is hard. Everyone on this show has at least one baby daddy who isn't currently with them, leading to all kinds of emotional, parental conflicts. Some are handled better than others, and some co-parenting arrangements work more smoothly than others. That goes without saying. At the end of the day, each of the Teen Mom 2 stars has a lot on her plate, but they're trying the best they can to persevere as always, 